All right, well, let's find out what normal distortion is. For this situation, okay? And rather than read it off a chart or something like that, we're going to calculate it. And then we're going to find out what, what the distortion would be, what the appropriate distortion would be at that lower diameter using the same 06 7000s plate. Okay, so if you could forget that we have gears and you could accommodate the correct distortion for a narrower diameter situation by a little bit, what would the distortion be there, okay? So we have the normal distortion and what we're going to call the new distortion and maybe by um, by looking at those two we can we can look at it we say okay for example if the difference is very great you might say hey wait a minute it's not as simple as just using a thinner tape uh, we also have to change the distortion but if we find that the distortion difference is not that great maybe we say hey look you know we don't want to affect our workflow we want to keep everything normal we got an emergency situation here this is just one job uh, let's just use thinner tape, get it, get it out of here, alright? So we're going to see what the distortion difference between under normal circumstances and trying to accommodate this new thick material, what, what the difference might suggest, alright? Well, let's do that, alright. Now, uh, he hasn't provided the unfortunately he hasn't probably provided the overall repeat length so the, so the diameter is important in calculating the distortion so just for the sake of illustration let's assume given that he's using 67 thousandths plate 015 sticky back my experience is that that's a very common uh, narrow web situation so I'm going to use uh, if I'm wrong and it's wider web I'm going to use a higher uh, a diameter or a repeat that would be high for a narrow web situation but maybe low for a wide web situation so I'm going to use 12 inches alright so what we're going to do is we're going to use a 12 inch repeat cylinder and calculate distortion using a normal situation and then the new situation and see what happens so if we had a 12 inch repeat Okay. In another uh, tape, I calculate distortion, and I tell you that it's the relationship between the diameter, the overall print diameter, and the diameter uh, represented by everything up to the soft part of the plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the overall print diameter, then we're going to calculate as if we took away the soft part of the plate but left the mylar, the mounting tape, and the cylinder, Calculate that diameter. We'll divide that lower diameter by the higher diameter, and that'll give us distortion. All right. So starting with the 12-inch diameter, we're going to calculate what the normal, the print diameter is for that. 12 inches. What we do is we divide it by pi. Okay. So I'm going to express pi in, in four decimal places for now. I like to do that until we get to the end, and then I'll come down to three decimal places. So 3.1416 is pi to four decimal places, okay? So we're going to take 12, 0 0.0000 divided by 3.1416, and we'll see what we get here. That'll give us the, the print diameter. 12 divided by 3.1416 equals, so that's 3.8197 or 3.820 inch diameter okay so we just do that so we'll put this uh, we'll leave it in four decimal places for right now so for this equals uh, 3.8197 inch diameter okay now that's the overall print diameter now we want the diameter taking away the soft part of the plate that's the ratio that I'm interested in the, the number I'm interested in so now the plate thickness is 0.067 inches. The the mylar, the backing, that polyester backing of the plate in, is probably, although not always, 0.005 inches. When you don't know what that number is, it's a pretty good one, but there are 0 0.005, 0 0.007, 0 0.004. There's different thicknesses, so you have to be careful, and it does matter. All right, so the difference is to get the soft part of the plate, 260.0. The soft part of the plate, taking away the mylar part, is 0 0.062 inches. Now, that soft part of the plate is manifest twice 
around this cylinder, the way it impacts the diameter, okay? So 2 times soft equals 2 uh, times 0 0.062 inches equals 0 0.124 inches. Okay, so what does that mean? That number there is uh, twice the soft part of the plate. I'm going to remove that value from the overall diameter so I can have the diameter of everything up to the soft part of the plate. I'll divide that lower number by the higher number. It'll give me my distortion factor. So 3.8197 divided by... Uh, let me have first take away from that. I have to take away the... Uh, did I do that yet? 3.8197 minus 0 0.124, right? Equals 75... Nine six point three three point six nine five seven three point six nine five seven. I'll divide that three point six nine five seven the lower value, the lower rate diameter divided by three point eight one nine seven inches, the greater print diameter, and see what we have for distortion. Three point six nine five seven divided by 3.8197 equals, all right, so for this equals 96.75%. It actually equals 0 0.9675 or 96.75% is your distortion factor, okay? So I don't know how you guys put that in your, in your Illustrator software or your RIP or whatever, but... Um, but, so we're looking at, let's look at 96.75%. We, we have to expose our plate 96.75% of the 100% length so that when it wraps around that cylinder, it's the correct. So now let's go ahead and um, keep that value. 